Okay class, I want to look at another section today that was um, perhaps not done as well as it could have been during the prelim and that was work relating to the centre lathe. Okay, so on your previous paper there you can see the first question describing the punch have been shaped using the lathe. Now the process here is asking you to state the name of the turning process. So basically it's just a quick description of what it is or even just a name of the process. Okay, so it says name the turning process one mark and that with a direction arrow showing you the direction of travel of the cutter is facing off. Now facing off is used to clean off the end of the bar before doing any other processes. Now the next one down below, again, this is the chuck, this is your material and there's your cutter set at an angle. Okay, and the process is coming across this way. So naming this process, again, one mark would be facing off. Okay, uh, sorry, chamfering. Sorry. <clears throat> so that's the two answers there. So you've got facing off, and as I said before, chamfering. Now, the only thing that may confuse you with this part here is covered in the next question that I've got from another paper. I'll show you that just now. Now, that there shows you a taper applied to the material. Now, this side, the short 45 degree cut, is a chamfer. Whereas this longer tapering cut is exactly that. It's taper turning. So the angle would be set depending on how, what angle you put the cutter at. If you can imagine my pen being the, the blade, would change the angle of that cut. Okay? So that's taper turning. Now, again, some more questions regarding the lathe. State an adjustment to the lathe that may be necessary before knurling. Now, you should know this diamond pattern on here is knurling, and it's produced with a knurling tool. Now, this is an indent. It's not actually cut. So the, the, the cutter actually just indents the metal rather than cuts it to create this effect. Okay? So the adjustment for that, it would be making sure that the lathe is set at a slow speed. Okay? So you would just take both... Uh, gears down to the lowest setting. A functional reason for this finish would be pure and simply for grip. So you saw that earlier on the center punch and the scribe. You can see the diamond pattern cut here and here and that is purely for grip. Okay. Now, you said there State the name of the turning process used at B. Again, taper turning. Chamfer. Two different things. Now, state the procedure for achieving a smooth finish when carrying out either of these uh, operations. Now, it's two marks, so looking for two things. Now, for me, you can have a choice. I'll give you the answer here. So, we're looking at having the correct speed of cut. Very important, having sharp tools. Using some lubrication, if required, normally our lathes, if you were using them in an engineering workshop, would have lubricant poured over them all the time. We don't have that actually set up for different reasons, which I'll not get into just now, but lubricating the cut. And don't remove too much in one go. So you're only going to take maybe a quarter of a mil each time. Every time you pass this, You'll take a wee bit more and a wee bit more and a wee bit more. If you try to take like a millimeter off in one go, it'll just tear the metal. Okay, so that's that. Now this one, this is looking down, straight down onto the top of the tool. Now if you've done woodwork, you'll know what the parting off tool is. is used to cut grooves or cut through wood. This is exactly the same thing. So you're looking straight down on top of this tool and this is your parting off tool. And you'll see that it's got a cutting edge here and a tapering sides. Now that taper allows it to cut into the metal and create a cut, but it doesn't then bind against the side of the blade. Do you see how that part there is left open? So there's a clearance there. Okay, so that's a part and off tool. So these are some basic questions and answers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to produce a wee worksheet um, focusing on the lathe. So there'll be some questions regarding that. 
the different processes, maybe a wee bit of health and safety, and um, what else could we do? We could do maybe some of the tools, etc., and the machine itself. I'm going to put a few questions in of the parts of the machine, okay? So that worksheet will follow. If you just look that up, complete that worksheet, and that will be your task for today. Okay, guys, thanks very much.